Imagine it was that easy to cut. You're just like. No, imagine. <laughs> you know those like infomercials with the knives that you never need to sharpen. I don't know what they're called. I forgot what they're called. Like the magic blade or whatever. Yeah, whatever. You're supposed to cut through brick. You're gonna tell me you can't cut through the wall. <laughs> Just saying, that's what I would use. <laughs>
today working on the windows. Um, it's been really, really cold out, so we haven't been getting much done in the evenings because as soon as the sun goes down, um, forget that. But uh, so far we've been able to take out these three windows and these three windows from the front of the bus, so six windows in total. We've uh, taken them out. We've scraped out all the, um, the caulking or the sealant that they used. So today I'm going to work on switching a few more windows out. It, it took us a little bit of time to try to figure out which windows we were keeping where and which ones were sealing off. Um, we did buy some metal, uh, 116th metal, to cover up the windows that we are not going to use anymore. We put tape on the ones, green tape on the ones that um, we're not keeping, like in that place, and then we put the white X's with masking tape on the windows that are keep like undoing and stuff like that. Like every time we walk in, there's a crack in them and stuff like that. Kind of like this one. We're gonna keep the ones that stay closed properly. So today I'm gonna work on taking out more of the windows, switching them to where we want them to be. We're gonna be taking two of the emergency exit windows and putting them in the bedroom uh, because we wanna keep the windows that do this in the bedroom. We're going to build some type of prop to keep them open that way because then at least when it's raining we can still have the windows open in the bedroom. With our floor plan, we did do that the other night. I don't know if you can see it very well. We did do it the other night. Um, it was a little too dark and I think our camera died. Uh, so we weren't able to show you guys, but this is what we figured out. I had to tweak it a little bit yesterday because we wanted to... We ended up, we had like a couple feet left at the front of the bus and we wanted to add it into the bathroom because the bathroom, as you can see, is over the wheel well. And uh, like you would literally be walking into the bathroom stepping up. So we managed to add, I think, a foot and a half, two feet so that like you can walk into the bathroom and then the, ba the toilet will be on the step up and then the shower will be next. So anyways, it was lots of trying to move things around and figure it out, but this is most likely going to be our final floor plan as long as everything goes well. So I don't know if you can see, that's the caulking they used. It's fairly easy to take off. Um, it's just really, really sticky. Gets caught on everything. Um, to take it off, the easiest way is just to scrape it with a, um, a butter knife, actually. And then from there, I just use sandpaper to get the little residue off. Like 150 grit, I think, is what I'm using. And uh, it cleans them up, like, really nicely. Like, this one is the one I did yesterday. You can see the difference. And then we uh, scrape all the caulking from inside of the... Edges. A crow bar, oh, a small crow car, just to pry it out of the window and uh, applying even pressure, not trying to push too far uh, or too hard, sorry, so that it doesn't like bend the frame, right? I mean, most of these windows we're not keeping, sadly. It's really sad to notice, like, after we did our floor plan and figure out what windows we're keeping, um, there's not that many. I think about 14 of them were taken out, but it is. So all I'm doing here to take off this stuff, I'm just using the knife to kind of like push it. Some of it's a lot easier to just pull off, but just to try to get an edge and then 
usually you can just pull off a good chunk. Um, if not, I kind of just try to get a good ball. Started, it'll just pull it with the glue. I don't know if there's a better technique, but this one seems to be working for me for the most part for the window frames. And then um, this is just like dirt. So uh, after all of this black stuff off. I'm gonna go over it with a um, piece of sandpaper, smooth everything out and clean it up. And it should be ready to reseal. We're good guys, the last one, woo! Yeah, I guess so. We always start a little bit like farther to the edge because we don't want this leak on the floor. So we start like this, down, up, and we spread the paint. We come back where you just paint it, you do the edge, and you see that like wavy thing? That means you've got too much paint. So I'm gonna spread it more. Make sure we don't have too much paint. If I hear this ripping hair off people. Mm -hmm. Black put... spots. Yeah. Is he waiting? I see more. Oh no. Oh, we got it everywhere. Oh, why is it that stinky? Yeah, that's paint. I am not doing it. Okay.